What is up, everybody? Renfail here. We just wrapped up the launch day stream. We did a little over nine hours. Had a great time. Got to level 20. Got my mount, which in this case, as I shoot my musket into the nowhere from placing my controller down. <laughs> Um, I am playing on the PS5. I ultimately decided to come here, even though I did own it on the PC, the base game. I was like, you know what? I really like the way it played in the open beta. Let's go do it on the PC and see what it's like. This is my pre-order mount. Um, uh, it's time for my early thoughts video. So uh, for those of you who are new here, guys, I typically do a few different videos around the games that I play. Usually there is the, the um, first impressions video, which comes before. We already did that during the open beta. Then there's the early thoughts video, which comes after my first stream session. That's this one. Then we will often do an intermediate review somewhere along the way before we do a final review, which is usually after I've wrapped up whatever MSQ there is uh, to play. So uh, my review numbers change depending on where we're at in the process. As a general rule, when I first play a game, super excited, lots of fun stuff. Um, there might be a few cracks that we see, but as we play the game, we sometimes see a few more cracks. But other times, things grow on us and everything else. So, this is not my final review by any judge of anything. This is just my early thoughts on the game so far. So, if you caught my open beta stuff, um, I have played this game before. I played it when it first came out. I played an Ice Mage, well, an Ice Gauntlet Reaper build. Um, and had a lot of fun with it. This time around, um, I am playing a... Musketeer, uh, who is a combination of musket, rifles, and rapier, and it is a lot of fun. Um, I have been running around just doing the main quest. My main objective here is the main quest. Um, the discussions we've had and everything that I understand about it is that there's around 50 hours of storyline in the new main quest that came out with New World Eternal. Now, when this game first came out, it did not have such a main quest. So the new quest has all its all new cinematics. It's a brand new storyline. Um, it ties everything together beautifully, and it's honestly the voice acting is really well done. The art style is really well done. It's a lot of fun. Um, I am playing on the 4K uh, resolution, uncapped frame rates on the PS5, and it has been chef's kiss, absolutely amazing performance. Um, I think overall, uh, I've seen definitely a little bit more improvements over everything from the open beta, but my initial thoughts here are that I don't have anything negative to say at all. Um, the initial experience out of the gate for me is a 10 out of 10. Like, it's just a lot of fun. Everything works. There's no bugs. It's flawless. It's literally just damn good fun. And I look at this and I say, if this would have been the version of the game that launched three years ago, I think New World would be in a much different place. It's not in a bad place. The fact that they've spent the last hot few minutes um, developing the Eternum launch on consoles to bring consoles and PCs together, uh, PC version together in parity so that we have cross-play across three different ecosystems. That is a brilliant marketing move because more players playing your game is a good thing. And I think the refinement of this game from a group-based MMO into a single-player ARPG, action RPG, with group-based elements that you could choose to participate in, I think that was a brilliant marketing strategy. I do understand that there are some hardcore PC fanatics who are like, oh, they didn't give us any content for the last year. Amazon sucks. They were working on this. This is way more important than content for the game. More people playing your game equals more revenue equals now we can build around this foundation and put more content into the game. Um, so that's not a big deal to me. It's definitely more important to have a, a huge player base across multiple platforms that you can play. So it's really in my mind, a good decision on their part. The game looks absolutely breathtaking. Um, the sound design, of course, is top notch. One of the reasons I went with this instead of the Ranger from the um, open beta is this sound effect right here. Got the sound design. It's just so good. And then like the crack of the mining pick when you go to mine things. 
or when you're chopping down trees and then the crack of the wood as it breaks and the tree falls down. It gets really gnarly when it's a really big tree. Um, let's see what this one sounds like when it falls. The big ones make a lot of noise when they come down. It's very impressive. Very cool. That one wasn't impressive. That was not nearly as big. Um, so primarily, this is an. It's now being billed as a single-player action RPG. Now it does have an MMO shell around it. So a lot of people have asked during the stream today, like, do you need groups? Do we have to group? Do you need to group group? No, groups are optional. So the main storyline and everything across the map, this can all be done solo. And it's a big ass map with a lot of stuff to do. Lots of side quests. Um, there's lots of regions. Each one of those regions has lots of things you could do to grind up your faction, get your you know additional storage space and everything else that you would need for the regions. Um, and just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of quests. Um, uh, actually, let's go back to town really quick. We can travel back here while we're sitting here. And we can go back to town. Let's go to Windsward. I don't have anything up there. Don't, I don't want to travel to the... Hang on, guys. I gotta zoom in. Let's go down. There we go. Windsward. Go to the settlement here. Recall to in. Yep. We'll recall back. Um, everything is based around this being a single player ARPG where you go forth and do things on your own. The dungeons, aka excavations, you can go do for funsies. Um, the raids, you can go do for funsies. The PvP, you can go do for funsies. All of that is optional stuff for you to do. The big thing here is that it's now a single player RPG. Um, obviously, it's an online game. It's within there. It's cross-play now, so Xbox, PlayStation, PC are all playing on the same in the same space. There are still servers, so you have to pay attention. Like, if you want to play with your friends, you all got to be on the same server. But if you're on the same server, everybody can play together because it's now cross-play. It is not cross-progression. I saw some people who trying to, trying to be angry little trolls in chat today about how dare they? It's supposed to be crisis. They never marketed it as cross-progression. They, they mentioned multiple times that it's not cross-progression. They only ever said it was cross-play. Um, it's pretty awesome, considering. Um, but I love the art style. The music is amazing. The voice acting is great. The song that we came across in the tavern uh, during the early parts of the main quest is great. Like It's just great fun. It makes you really feel like you're in a cool you know, fantasy environment. But there's also like a little bit of sci-fi to this because it's kind of like the island in the show Lost where it's like traveled through time and there's all these different time periods that have come here and been here and you're working with NPCs who might be from the Roman Empire or they might be from ancient Egypt and, you know, then there's the science fiction sphere elements and all sorts of stuff. So, um, in terms of all the things that are going on, um, you go to activities first. There's expeditions, which are the dungeons. These, uh, I believe there's like, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 12 dungeons that you can play through. There's also these mutated expeditions, which I don't know anything about. Um, there's some of those. There's the new raid that came. There's uh, soul trials, which are things you can do, I believe, solo. Um, there's seasonal trials, which have a minimum of six players. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. I really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Um, then there are elite trials, which have a minimum of 12 players, which is nuts to think about. Um, and then there's the 3v3 arena and the outpost rush, which is a huge 20 versus 20 PvP experience, which is crazy. But it's for their people who want to go forth and do that kind of stuff. So there's a ton of in-game activity. This is where we get into, this game has been out on PC for three years. So it's had a ton of time to add content into the game. And so for console players or people who have never played this before, you're coming into a game that has three years of existing content. So there is a lot to do. A lot to do beyond the main storyline and all of the hundreds of side quests that you're going to come across while you're roaming across the environment. There's also an incredibly rich and deep crafting system and harvesting system in this game which I believe we can take a look at here. Uh, so th here's your stats, um, your weapon masteries, 
trade skills. All of these are trade skills, and you can max all of them if you want. Um, and then you get into the PvP and the achievements and stuff. There's also a seasonal track. There is, if, as I understand things, I can't access it yet because I'm not level 25, but as I understand, there's a free season and a paid season pass, depending on what kind of things that you want to get access to. There's a transmog system um, in this game, which... Uh, you can transmog your character, and like we showed it off during the stream today. Like, if I can find it again, um, over somewhere over here. Let's run through town really quick. By the way, this is a great place to showcase um, performance because we're running through town. There's going to be players all over the place, and performance is absolutely just smooth as silk on the PS5. Oh, here's the transmog guy. Um, so you can go in here, and there's all of these. Um, you could transmog. Let's just take as an example. Look at headwear. Here's all the different heavy head pieces, the medium head pieces, the light head pieces. So you can go in here and transmog all these different things for your character. Um, lots of different ways to make your character look. Um, so there's a lot of room for you to play around with and find the perfect hat as an example. Like I need that hat right there. My goodness. Or was that? Hang on. Go back to that. The Explorer's Cloth Light Head. Like, that just looks amazing. It has the bandana underneath, which I have to wear because I sweat a lot. And then the feather coming off. Yes, please. Um, there's also another one over here. Um, yeah, I could dig it. So there's lots of ways to customize your character. There's a ton of player agency for you to play the game how you want to play the game. You can obviously play it with other people if you want to, or you can play it solo um, if you want to do it like I am. I have no desires to do any group-based content. I might do some dungeons, but mostly I'm just going to be running around. My main focus is I've got about two weeks is what I've given myself to get through the main storyline here before I move on to Dragon Age the Veil Guard at the end of the month. Um, so I've estimated roughly 50 hours um, playing five to six hours a day. That gives me 10 days. You know, I should have plenty of time to get through the MSQ and then still have a few days left over to play some group based content while I'm also doing some uh, Black Ops uh, 6 um, right before Dragon Age Veilguard launches. So this is the main game for me for the next couple of weeks. So if you'd like more New World from me, New World Eternum, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. And don't forget that the streams happen here and on Twitch. I'll be creating a lot of guides, discussion videos, and more around New World. And of course we are streaming every single day starting at 9 a.m. Mountain. And we're playing until 3 or 4 p.m. every single day, depending on a variety of factors. But usually we do six to seven hours of streams right now so hopefully we'll see you in the next one in the meantime don't forget to check out all the socials join the discord check out the patreon and i'll see everybody in the next one stay safe happy gaming and let me know what your early thoughts on new world of turn drop those down in the comments below till next time everybody stay safe and happy gaming